This is the plaintiff, Brooke Diedrich. She says she sold the defendant a machine that charges car air conditioning systems, and that cheap guy refuses to pay her in full for the machine. She doesn't understand what his problem is, because she gave him a great deal. He's simply attempting to rip her off, and she's here today suing for the $800 she's most definitely owed. This is the defendant, Ron Gunn, and his secretary, Nancy Harris. Nancy says the purchase price of the machine was $1,500, and for some strange reason, the plaintiff thinks it was $1,800. All she knows is they paid for the machine. They're done doing business with this woman and thinks the judge will agree. He's accused of shortchanging a sale. All parties, please enter in. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff sold the defendant a machine that charges air conditioning units and got stiffed by the defendant, says the plaintiffs tried to change the deal. It's the case of she's trying to get her free on. Okay, Ms. Diedrich, your company suing Mr. Gunn's company for $800, a balance of a sale of what kind of equipment? It's an AC machine. So, like air conditioning, EVAP recovery system for. Vehicles. So, what does it do? Uh, it it goes. It, it's uh, your your business is an automotive place. Mechanic yes. shop. Y yes. You are a mechanic shop, and you are uh, Nancy Harris. You're the secretary. Correct. And you, sir, are the owner. Okay. And so, uh, the kind of machine that you sold them was a machine. If I came in with an AC problem, that machine would do what? That would recharge the system. It would pull all the the free on all the coolant out and redo it so that okay. you can have a, a functioning. Okay. All right. And um, do you have original sale paperwork from the sale? I do not. Okay. It was so actually was it verbal? A, yes. All right. Um, and the, uh, the, according to you, the deal was that it would be 1800 Correct. And that they would pay um, as they went? Correct. There wasn't a formal payment schedule. I can't imagine why we're here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, who struck the deal? My father. Where's your father? He is not present. Who did he strike the deal with? Their employee. Named? Mike. And Mike. Where, where's Mike? He no longer works for the oh, I love it. So he got, he neither person who was a party to the deal that was not in no. writing is here to tell us what the deal was. Correct. 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 Oh, okay. What do you guys expect me to do? Tell me. <laughs> what do you think I am? A judge or a magician? So what we do know, let's talk about what we do know. The machine goes over there when? June 3rd. Of what year? 17. Of uh, June 3rd of 2017. And you guys have been using it all this time, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. What do you say you paid? We paid $1,500. Okay. Is Which it is accurate what we agreed that $1,500 to pay. has gone from that side to this side? No. Okay. How much do you say they've paid? 1000 Okay. I need proof of the payments, and then let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. I have... Proof of all but the original 300 that was sent with our mechanic when he picked up the machine. You he should have a receipt if you we, sent cash. Well, we were told they didn't give a receipt. Apparently, well, no, they don't give the cash. You understand that's I, how business I, is done. I do understand. I do right, understand. Right, because you got because it's gonna see the burdens on you to prove that was paid. When someone sues you because they say you owe me this, and you agree, yeah, we owe. You, you agree you owe 1500, not 8, Correct. 1800. But judge, we paid that 300. You have to prove you paid it. You can't just say it. We were told to send a deposit and the machine would be released. Mm -hmm. We sent the deposit with our mechanic. He brought the machine back. We took for so granted. So you assumed the mechanic we, didn't steal the money. We assumed that they wouldn't release a machine without their deposit. Oh, and deposit. that would be good business practice. You're right. I, I wouldn't release a machine. But you say he didn't hand the deposit. Correct. When you didn't, why did you release a, a machine without getting a deposit? He was coming back with it. And it was, did he? No, he did not. Okay. And when he did, is that, does he still work for you? No. Mm. Uh, why'd you fire him? Was the thief? Stealing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it appears he got us on this one too. But it, can I see all the invoices you sent? Yes. Let me see all of them so I can see the dates and what they say and if they put them on notice that the deposit didn't get paid. I'm just curious. All right. So we have an email to you in July, which is pretty quickly after the, uh, Nancy, here's what we've been paid so far. And the email is to you, and it says, Mako AC machine, eight unit price, $1,800.
Why don't you complain in July? What do you mean $1,800? It's $1,500. Because I didn't work for the company when this, when this business, when this deal took place. Okay. So the company, because you are an employee of the company, receives how many invoices that say that the deal was $1,800? Um, maybe two or three. I, I'm not, yeah. I, I can't say for Repeatedly. sure. Repeatedly. And nobody says anything until when? When did the problem come up? On September 8th is when we thought, Ron told me that um, to go ahead come and pull on the... Come on up, Ron. Ron told you what? Ron told me to pull the invoice because he was under the impression that the check he was getting oh, ready sorry, to write... Oh, I'm sorry, Go ahead okay, and sit. Okay. Yeah, put, pull the chair in front of the microphone. So you can sit. Hold on. Okay, so you finally do bring it to the boss. I finally and what did does pull the, boss the invoice. Um, he says that's wrong. And uh, the minute that we realized that there was something wrong with it, I emailed. Okay. Brooke. Now, do you have any proof that it's wrong? Because I'm, I'm with you if it's wrong, but I need you to prove it. The only proof I got is through what she done and everything. And like I said, she brought it to my attention that it was 1800 I said, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. I do not owe 1800 on there. Because some guy named Mike told you it would be 1500 Right. He who told we me. know is a thief. And who right. we know took the 300. Right. Uh, yeah, I, you all are really good people, um, but you don't know how to do business. Uh, business really needs to be in writing so nobody's confused. And she is better at it than you guys are because she at least has these invoices well, that come and come and come. The invoices are also not correct. So um, she's got checks missing off of mm -hmm. at least one or two of the invoices. Okay, here's what I would like you to do. Have you two, though, then worked that out? And yes. All right. So at some point when the discrepancy arises, you propose one of three solutions. Pay me what you owe me. Actually, I even discounted it. Right. I, I compromised and I said, okay, we have a six hundred a six hundred dollar discrepancy. Why did you think it was a six hundred? And you're suing for eight hundred? Because I have a check here that's not yet been cashed. So you have a two hundred dollar check that needs cashing. Correct. But why didn't you cash it? Because this was what he sent as the final payment. Does it say it on the check? It does. Okay. So what you would have been owed had you cashed that was another six hundred. Correct. Right. And uh, so that's why you're suing for eight hundred. And she offered either that or I'll pick up the machine and I'll just sell it on the market and cut my losses, which means you guys rented the machine for five months or something for free. How come you didn't take her up on that? Because you feel, no, I want the benefit of the bargain I think I struck but can't prove. Well, it also wasn't free. I mean, we're out $300 that we put out that... Either right. We Whose fault is that again? Whose fault is that again? I'm kidding, so I, right. I, I, I know. understand. I know. I mean, do you doubt for a second that she's being honest when she says she never got the 300? I have no reason to. I mean, I, I don't right. know. I don't know her as a oh, person. We, ha we also have a reason to believe it, which is that this Mike guy was a thief. Okay, if you do business with somebody um, where you owe them money and you hand them cash and they won't give you a receipt, what do you do? I don't know. I'd probably do all I had to do to get the receipt back. Maybe. What, what if they won't give it to you? What if they say, I'll give it to you next week? I don't know, I'd file I'll Give it to you tomorrow. I'd file and complain with anybody that I could, I mean, depending on the situation. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do in a situation? You gotta get like some sort of proof that you paid them, otherwise. What if they won't give it to you? You gotta like take a video or something of you giving them money or actually, something. Actually, that's not a bad idea, actually. That's actually, you know what, I'm gonna go back. That's a, I didn't think of that. That's actually a really good idea, going inside the card room. I have no doubt that the deal that was struck was 18. I have a doubt whether Mike told you that. I have a doubt whether maybe he said it's another 1,500 because you're paying 300 down. Now, I don't know what happened. What I do know is that you guys have the burden of proving your defenses. You don't have it. I am going to rule in her favor in the amount of the $800. Okay. Good luck, folks. Yeah, the, the check she receives, she gets That's it, coming right. back to you. I'm, I'm, you. Just gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and rule <laughs> uh, a verdict of, uh, because she didn't cash it because it said final payment. So, so it's going to be a verdict of $800. Yeah. Yeah. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. I understand. <laughs> so the plaintiff will finally get that invoice paid. She'll get the eight hundred dollars. Here's Nancy Harris. You, I, the judge said you guys got to wake up and do much better bookkeeping right. in your offices. Right. And, and it's interesting that you weren't there at the time when all of this right. came down. But you were there. Yeah, I trusted the guy. That's all I can say. I mean, yeah. and I found you, out. And you weren't looking at the bills and the invoices, no, right? No, I don't take care of the office. I got secretaries for that, and she finally found out, and I told her it was wrong. Yeah, well, and see, I'm if not, you had, you wouldn't be here in court today. You would have known. I okay. Don't, I don't feel I will pay some that I don't owe. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Me. Thank you very much. Thank Sorry, you. but Thank you. this is one case you have lost. Nancy, uh, Miss Diedrich? on your way out of the courtroom. You're smiling. You feel okay now? I Good? do. I do. Right. Yes, I think that was a fair 
their ruling. I expected that. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry that it happened, and uh, we'll just move on from now. Okay, good enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, you must sign a few documents. Harvey? Well, Doug, look, I got to say, the video is really a good idea, but if you rent an apartment, buying a car, whatever it is where you need proof that you paid, if they won't give you a receipt, do not give them the money. Period, period, period.